1073jams.com, old school in today's R&B. On TV One this Sunday, the movie Bobby Christina will make his debut. And on the phone, this gentleman plays Bobby Brown. You might have known him from Law & Order, Brooklyn's Finest, definitely from The Wire. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my man, Hassan Johnson. What up, fam? How you doing, Sean? How you feeling, big bro? Man, I'm good, man. Look, look, look. I don't even, even want to talk about this, man, because I'm going to be telling our age, man. And I'm talking about both of us if I go ahead and mention this, all right? Oh. Oh, bro, now hold up, what's going on? I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna mention something, and 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 I'm just, just gonna tell us how old we are, okay? I, I think I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Clockers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the, one of the original throwbacks. You did it to me. Man, look, uh, I remember when that movie came out. And then I, I, I noticed how I, I had to go back and I was like, let me just see what, what the homie just been up to. And then I just noticed that you have a tremendous catalog of like classic cult movies, you know, and, and then you have been on so, some of these great TV shows too, man. Dude, I, I still watch The Wire to this day. Oh, uh, man, but you know what? You got to sometimes try to charge that battery, bruh. And I ain't saying that just because I'm, you know, we right. <laughs> 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 You know, I, I ain't I, just saying that. And, and then I forgot about In Too Deep as well. I was like, man, like, we did a movie screening for In Too Deep uh, back in Chicago. Chicago. But with LL went, that's one of my favorite. LL went off in that. Oh, I yeah, mean, yeah, absolutely. Said, you know, he went off. Man, you know. That's my one. That's my one. You know, when you see LL, he's just a nice guy, but he was just this dark character in the movie. Man, I'm telling you, boy, that God up in that intro, boy, I don't know. <laughs> you see, that one ain't his throwback is, but he back there is clockers. But if they, if they don't know about that intro, they got to get into that one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That is, I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. all right, all right, all right. Let, let, let's go ahead and move on to this, man, because you, you get to play. The king of R&B, Bobby Brown, in this Bobby Christina movie for TV One. Man, that is actually that's, premiering off. Nah, that is man. That's still I'm still taking it on, man. man. It was one experience, like my top three. First of all, because we get on, we get on set. Everybody's in full character. Joy's in full Bobby Christie. Demetria with me. Najee Nick. You know, Ty had us on all cylinders. I directed Ty Hodge and shout out. We oh man, it was crazy from day one. So, Crazy. so it, it, it premieres on Sunday on uh, TV One. All right, so yeah. let, let's just dig right into this, man. When they came to you and said, hey, man, we want you to play Bobby Brown in this biopic, man, what's your first reaction? I mean, you know what it is. My first reaction was like, I can't do it. And it, and it was for all of the, the good reasons I couldn't do it. You understand nothing bad. It was just because who good, I mean, that's Bobby. Who really is going to play Bobby right now? And I, and I I hadn't, you know, read the script yet, but then that was the nail in the coffin. Mm -hmm. And when I read that script, it was so compelling. I say, yeah, man, they need to tell Bobby Chris. So, like, we need to know what would happen. We need a little bit of answers. We need some answers. Right. So, I, I think we get some. You know, I, I'm, I'm just, first of all, honored to have got that call because now, yeah, once you know you go to sleep, you wake up the next morning, it's like, it's still real. It's like, okay, we put the big boy pants on and let's do this. You know what I'm saying? So, that I can appreciate that and everything about it. And yeah, man, it's, it's amazing how, you know, it, it came together. It's, it's just amazing. Now, let me ask you this, man. What what kind of perspective uh, does her story give you about the trials and the challenges you may have faced or might encounter, you know, during during the filming of that project? Um, the thing with that special with, with, with uh, I was about to say Joy because she had Bobby just character so much. I'll, I'll leave Joy Rivera to play Bobby Christie. But the thing with Bobby was just that she was just so funny. I think that was what a surprise for me it was. She was just so funny. She really had these dreams and aspirations. She wanted to be her own person. She didn't want to have to be up underneath her mommy and daddy or even be a burden. You could tell that kind of character and that she just wasn't the burden is tight to her family and didn't want to have anybody go above and beyond what she wouldn't have been willing or able to do for someone else. So, you know, it, 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 you, you're going to realize it was a lot for her to have to deal with throughout all of that. And she still, I think, did a decent job of navigating, trying to be her own person and have her own identity. But it's relatable overall to 
anybody that's just in an abusive relationship, a long distance relationship, whether you're struggling as being a mother, a father, sister, brother, better person, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a thing that you can come to terms and grips with. Right, right. And now look, I, I want to tell you something because I, I fell for the okie doke too. There was the picture of you, Joy, and Dimitri. Uh, um, there was this there was this photo that came out, man, where, you know, a few months ago where it actually, y'all looked like Bobby, Whitney, and, and little Bobby Christina. Man, listen, hey, brother, son, uh, okie doke an understatement. Because when my daughter DM'd me that pic, I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, all them here, that's Bobby and Whitney. What? Uh, you, you know, I did the thing. What, what's going on? I had to look at I said, oh, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, oh, I get it now. That's us. I thought you just sending me this photo of them. I'm like, okay, where we going with this? Oh, that's how real. I forgot we took that. Cause they did it so quick, it wasn't even like on the schedule. You know how when you do a photo shoot for a film, it wasn't even on the photo. The photographer Kareem bro, he was just like, "Oh, huh? let me do it. let me get this one." And it was the younger Chrissy that played the joint up here. The younger Chrissy, I'm sorry, I don't remember my name, but he just got that pick on the fly. And look how real it, it man, that was scary. That's the one that really was the scary thing. Yeah, I was looking. I said, "Dad, y'all really do. They they favor." Yeah, wow, I know. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. I said, "Wow, that film something else." I mean, because when I got out the makeup trailer, nonetheless, I was like, "Okay, I threw my hands up. Y'all got that. Y'all did this." I I wasn't ready for it, but then that pick when you get to look back at yourself, you know what I mean? Like really capture a moment in time. That was it. That was that was incredible. Yeah, that was definitely a dope pick, though. By the way, man. So I just wanted to give yeah. you props on that. Uh, tell us, man, what's it, what was it like, man, with Demetri McKinney? Uh, you know, we playing our joint easy on uh, on the station right now. It's, it's a real nice joint, uh-huh. uh, man. What? Tell us about her playing Whitney in the movie, man. Uh, what what was it like? Oh, uh, man, sorry about that, Demetria. I can't even do even enough words right now to describe how amazing the talent she is. Talk about snap with a finger, she getting the character, and then it takes, and, and, and what makes it good is because she really has to be composed. You understand, that's when you know somebody that's dedicated and committed. So that's what I love, and it brought my A game, like I said, so that's why I said I could appreciate this one. I did the TV one, I did themselves. Ty Hodges, our director, I did himself, because the way he was able to just make culminate it and, and, and have it all just come together, the chemistry is undeniable. And I, it ain't even no more I can say about Demetria. It's just, it's ridiculous, man. She's just really all that. Right, and then we got the OG, Ms. Vivica Fox, in the movie as well. Man, and that's what just put the super stamp on it, or approval. I mean, come on. I, I said that was like one of them Mama I Made It moments. You know, when you get around. <laughs> 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 you know, so I was just like, yeah, man, this is just a lie. It's, it was amazing, though. Like, so you guys are going to love it. Yeah, that's what's up, man, dude. I cannot wait for Sunday, man, for when it comes out. But but here's what I want to ask you, man. What do you want the, the uh, television audience to take away from this movie when they watch it on this coming Sunday? You know, not to just, you know, be able to think for yourself. Like, first of all, watch it with an open mind. You'll be surprised if you know, uh, you know, please. And then, you know, it's just it's just so relatable to anybody, like I said, in an abusive relationship, long-distance relationship. It'll just make you stop, just reevaluate, think things like, you know what, hold on, let me, let me pick up the phone. Maybe I need to talk to my mother or my father about some things. Maybe I need to iron out some issues with my son or my daughter or just, you know, things of that nature. And I think it'll just put you in a warmer place overall. You understand, with family and just, you know, normal things in life just things that we take for granted like this is not about that life like that uh rock star lifestyle that so-called uncalled whitney and bobby live like this is just you know humanizing who they are and realizing how normal they were and they just had the same you know interest for one another and it was just this unconditional love it's this bond that was really unbreakable and it was just sad turn of events that's all 
Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You got any other project, bro, that uh, we need to know about? Yeah, man. I, I got this one coming out called My Young. It's, uh, it's like, it's called the American Dream Chinese Ambition. And like I said before, I don't really hold too many things up to the wire, but this is one of those. It's starring myself, Fresno Star, and, you know, he played Bird on the wire, too. And uh, a lot of other amazing talent, man, that, you know, I think, you know, you'll be able to get into. And then um, I got one with uh, a film with French Montana, Respect the Shooter. We should be able to, we should be coming with that soon, at theater soon. So, yeah, stay tuned, man. Yeah, absolutely, fam. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, man, how can we find you? All right, Facebook and Twitter, Hassan Johnson. And then you can add me on Instagram at H-I-N-I-K-O-J. That's my first initial middle name, last for anybody that's confused. But it's me. When you get the typing, I'll pop up there. That's what's up, man. Look, Bobby Christina, it airs on Sunday uh, at 7 o'clock, uh, 6 o'clock Central on TV that's One. That's right. Make sure you guys watch this, support it, man. Hassan Johnson fam. Appreciate you, man. Anytime you want to call in and check in, let us know what's going on with you, man. You got an open I line. I sure will. I sure will. Appreciate that too, brother.